Jordan's with Microsoft. He is the creator, inventor. Hello, testing. Testing. Uh, yeah. Hello. Several very cool mobile applications. Thank you, Jordan. All right, I'm going to be talking about SMS services. I'm going to teach you to build your very own. I'm going to give you uh, uh, three ways to build them. I'm going to give you eight qualities of what makes a good SMS service. Uh, and then I'm going to give you eight ideas so that you can go home and build your very own SMS service. There's a lot of value in building SMS services. Everybody has a cell phone, and they bring them with them everywhere they go. That's enormous reach. Uh, and this is relatively untold earth in the sense that there haven't, this hasn't been around for a long time, so you have a lot of opportunity to do something new. All right, uh, no, types of SMS services, notification services, you could get your horoscope uh, SMS to you every morning, uh, you can get a notification when some event happens. For example, get a warning that a tsunami is on its way. This uh, service exists in Southeast Asia right now. You can request information. Google and Windows Live have these services. I can send in a text message, say, Shack Seattle, and I can get the address of this place, or I can get its phone number, uh, I can get the uh, price of a book from Amazon, or I can get someone in the Philippines to look up any question for me. The group text messaging services like Dodgeball, Slam, Project I worked on, Mix, the new one from Yahoo. I can send out a text message. It goes to all my friends. They reply. It goes to all their friends. Group social coordination on the fly. Or I can take an action like uh, voting on American Idol. I can buy stocks. How do you build it? Email to SMS. Now, all the, car all the carriers support phone number at carrier.com, but there are problems with building it that way. You can't initiate an SMS to email conversation from a lot of carriers, so I can't do that. You can only reply to it. SMS gateway, that's the best way to go. That's the way the big boys go. A there are APIs uh, available on the web for sending SMS directly to the telephony backbone. Costs about six cents a message. Click and tell is uh, one of the uh, companies to look out there. Or you can go with phone server. Hook up a smart smartphone directly to a PC. That's what we did with the SLAM server. Uh, there are APIs on these smartphones for sending and receiving SMSs. It's easy to do. Talk to me if you want to know more. Now, I'm going to tell you eight qualities of a good SMS service that makes it different than building a web service or building an email service. It's got to be actionable. So I got a horoscope. What do I care? Timeliness should be critical. Why am I receiving this message on my, smart, on my phone? Location sensitivity will give you a lot of value. If you can leverage the fact that you know where I am and that I am somewhere besides sitting on my computer, you've got extra value. And you have to be aware of the fact that you have minimal input and output. You don't have a full keyboard. You're doing text input. You have 160 characters coming back and you have minimal interactivity. You can't have these back and forths like you do on a web page, like you do in a Win32 app. But you can take advantage of the fact that the messages are queued. Hurricane Katrina, people were using SMS because they knew that the message would get to the person eventually when they got service. Also, I can send and receive stuff, uh, text messages when you don't know. I'm down here. Or I can multitask. <laughs> Come on, you've been in a meeting, right? I'm down here. I'm sending a message. Leverage it. All right. Eight services that you can build. Last minute tickets. Tickets are valueless when the event begins. So you can get a text message on your phone saying, buy a ticket to the basketball game, $5 right now. Reply, buy. How do you make money off of this? Come on, that should be obvious. Ambulance chaser. All right. Maybe you're a firebug. I don't know. You're like one of those storm chasers. You're Helen Hunt. You want to know where the tornado is. Get a text message. I'll go there right now. Watch the hostage situation unfold before my very eyes. Probably subscription service. Okay, add to a wish list. How many times? You're out. God, I, I, you should see this movie. Oh, I'll add it to my net, Netflix list. Uh, and you get home and you forget about it. Do it from your smartphone. Do it from your, your text messaging. Obvious ways to monetize that. You can either do it through the website, etc. This one's very similar. Susumi, uh, this is for yourself. You want to build up a grocery list? Get butter, get milk. You're at their grocery store, just send grocery, and you get back your whole grocery list. You can also have different kinds of lists. Uh, all right, come on. Tell me you don't like this one. You can use a little reminder to exercise some forbearance, right? And you remind you of anniversaries. Hey, save her dress size when you're out shopping. On the other side, come on. You're on a shitty day. You need the out. This is this. This is the rescue call. Use that stealth feature. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hey, I uh, gotta go. Uh, you know, sorry, my mom's sick. I gotta go check in on her. 
This one actually I think is super valuable. Imagine you get a text message saying, call your senator, it's got the phone number right there, tell you what to vote on, tell her what to vote on, and you can roll these notifications out, a thousand every hour. Don't go to your grave with sins on your soul. Get absolution when you need it. So I own 10% if you use any of these. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Captain.